What's up everybody? I'm going to talk to you today about uh, a new arm brace that I just got for my rifle. I was using the uh, SIG uh, Series 1 arm brace and I've gone to the Shockwave. I think a lot of you have probably already heard a little bit about it, but this right here is the Shockwave. Just so everybody can see it compared to this that I have. This is the SIG the Series 1. So you can kind of see the difference as far as size. How much bigger, kind of clunky the SIG brace is. Now I will say SIG's new brace, they've cut out all this right in here. So it just comes pretty much straight back and then we're straight down. All this crap where my hand's covering is gone. That's pretty much all you got. It's almost about like this. It's just straight back and then down. And even from the back, you can see the difference in the width. This is made to go, as you can see, this Velcro comes out and it actually clips over, I shouldn't say clip, but clamps down on your arm and you just Velcro it down. With this, the way this works is you're holding it out and you're bracing it up into your forearm right there. But if you do have to, you know, get it up in the shoulder and take a little bit more accurate shot than what you would holding it as a pistol, this tends to move around a lot. So I've got my AR here, as you can see, they're empty. So this just kind of slides straight over like that and just get it up in there so you can get that accurate shot but if I have to take a couple of shots this thing will start to rotate out and by the time I'm done shooting it's like this so it's kind of become a, a nuisance more than it has been helping me but like I was showing the hand up through there goes over the arm and just velcros down and that's that right there is how it will go right over your arm and get it up and get your aim so but again you can get it up in the shoulder if you've got to make a little bit more accurate shot and you see I've just got just a regular smooth buffer tube the way this thing works, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a hole there. There's a little screw right there, and it just kind of tightens down onto the buffer tube. And we're going to take this out here in just a minute and shoot it so you can kind of see what it's like. Because I didn't put any, drop that, I didn't put any Loctite in here on the screw. I'm going to see if I actually need the Loctite. Uh, just to make sure it doesn't come unscrewed the more I start shooting. So I haven't put any Loctite on the screw. I don't know if you can kind of see down in there. There's a little spot right, right here on this side. You can see where the screw will come up and just clamps right down onto the buffer tube. Now they make buffer tubes uh, for the adjustable stocks. All you got to do is just pull that stock off and that screw will actually screw up in the holes for an adjustable stock so just some options for you I didn't want to feel like taking the buffer tube off you know this is the buffer tube I bought when I built this thing so I, I kind of like it if something happens you know I've still got this if I need to get it up in my shoulder to make those more accurate shots and you know sitting there holding it like this but just to put it on you're just going to slide right over you can go forward back as much as possible I like to have mine back just a little bit just for the length and you'll have to kind of line it up make sure it's nice and straight and then just take the screw well, it comes with and it'll come when you buy it it'll come with a little allen wrench for you to use there we go and then you just start tightening
just trying to make sure I keep everything crap. Mm -hmm. Righty tighty lefty loosey, yeah, I was going the wrong way. sure everything's nice and straight before I snug it up. Push it on the kind of turn your wrist and push that up against it. Uh, that's on there pretty good. I mean, you see, I'm wiggling, so it's all going to depend on how it does when I shoot it if I need that lock tight or not. And I might need to put a couple hundred rounds through it to really test this thing out. But just like that, if you're using it as a pistol. You got to take a little bit more accurate shot. Need to get it up into your shoulder. Fits right up in there, nice and snug. There's no wiggle to it like with the Sig brace, and you can rock and roll with it. Really reach out and get somebody if you need to. So I think this is going to be a lot better than what the Sig brace is. You know, it's very sturdy. It seems like it's on there pretty tight. So. The more rounds we put through it, we'll see what that screw does and if it starts to come to loose. Like I said, if it starts to come loose, just going to get some Loctite and put in there on it. So this is a very nice brace to have if you're wanting to have a good AR pistol. So something a little bit more sturdy than the SIG brace. The newer SIG braces, I know, I think that everyone's saying they're, they don't slip and slide. fits on their, the buffer tube tighter, but I had a friend of mine that had one of these. He kind of told me about how it worked, you know, said, talked about how much he really liked it, so we are figure we'll give it a try. So we're going to take it out up to the range and uh, shoot it a little bit and see how it does from there. So uh, we'll see you out there shortly. All right. Now that we've talked a little bit about the new Shockwave arm brace, we're going to put some rounds through it and see how it holds up. Um... I haven't put, like I said, I haven't put any Loctite or anything on that screw. So we're going to uh, see how it holds up. So like we showed in the video, you're going to the guns, no magazine. The gun is empty. That's how you're going to use it. It's going to brace up against your arm just like that while you're getting your aim. So, let's go ahead and load it up here. Make sure we're always safe, eyes and ears, before we start shooting. Alright, so we're going to brace it up, just like that. Get your sights.
So that's how you're going to do if you've got to hold it. Just pushes on the inside of that forearm. Now if it's something where you've got to go with some distance and make a little bit more accurate shot, get up in here and let her rip. Still seems to be in there, so I might not need any Loctite. I know that was just a few rounds, but no rotation with that screw tightened down. Even now with me pulling on it, there's not really any type of rotation to it. With that SIG brace that I had, it was, you saw in earlier in the video how it was, how easy it would slide and flop around. So this is a, a lot more stable if I've got to get and get it up in the shoulder just to get a good accurate shot. But still, get some good accurate shots. Just make sure you brace it up in on that arm, get your sights, and go to town. So this is a, a very nice thing to have if you're not really happy with your SIG brace or you don't like the way the SIG brace looks or the way that it feels. This is the shockwave. So very, very good little tool to have. I'm very, very impressed with it so far. Good and solid. So far it's, like I said, it seems to be holding into place. We'll run some more rounds through it and see exactly how it does after we put quite, you know, a couple hundred rounds through it and make sure it holds. If not, I'll probably just have to throw some uh, Loctite on there. Or if you've got the buffer tube, from an adjustable stock you know this is a good thing to have this will fit right up in there and it'll screw right into place so just some different options for you if this is something that you're uh, interested in using so I'm I've been pleased with it so far you know this was the first time putting a couple of rounds through it just to see if that Loctite would or if it would hold without the Loctite so it looks good so far so take a you know, go out and do your do some research, see if it's something that you're interested in. It's the Shockwave arm brace. I've been very happy with it. And always remember, folks, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range.